You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 24th day of March 2023, and our topic for today says, Act on the Word. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we are grateful and we appreciate you. We thank you for taking us to bed, bringing us up again to gather before you, to seek your face and to hear you speak to us. We are grateful for the gift of your Word and for the grace also that you have made available to us to put this Word into practice. We thank you for the numerous beautiful and bountiful fruits that we see from this word. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would cause your word to continue to flourish in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. James 1 verse 22 reads, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. James chapter 1 verse 22. And our text for today is from the book of Matthew chapter 7, from verse 24 to 29. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 29 reads, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, who built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 to 29. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today says, Act on the word. And in the body of our devotional for today, we have our Father in the Lord saying that, As opposed to the people who don't have ears that we discussed yesterday, there are many who do have ears but are too paralyzed to practice what they learn from the word of God. They can recall the pastor's sermon word for word, but they don't practice it. They can probably even recite the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but it does not show in their lives because they do nothing in line with the word. This category of people are described in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 7 as ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. These are people who learn, but somehow the word does not take root in them enough for it to change their character. The devil practically paralyzes them and stops them from doing what they have learned. If you are in this category, I declare your freedom today in Jesus' name. One way the devil paralyzes people after they have heard the word is true procrastination. They hear and are determined to apply what they have learned, but then they procrastinate until they lose the zeal to do it. The day my Father in the Lord taught us that worldly music attracts evil spirits while godly music repels them and attracts the Holy Spirit, I destroyed all the worldly music tapes that I had. The night he preached about cleanliness and pointed our attention to the dirt under our beds, that same night, when we got home, my wife and I lifted up the mattress and cleaned under the bed and everywhere in our home. We did not wait until the next day. That is the same way you should practice the word of God, with urgency. James chapter 1 verse 23 to 25 says that when you don't practice the word immediately, it is like not adjusting your clothes while standing in front of the mirror. It would be useless to start adjusting them when you no longer have the mirror before you. 
Don't let the devil paralyze you. Act on God's word as soon as you hear it. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God's word has been coming to us continuously and yesterday we studied the topic, Listen to the Word. We were told yesterday of the importance to make our hearts ready ground for his word to be planted when it comes. Hallelujah. We learned of the enemy's strategy to block the spiritual ears of people and that although they may have physical ears, the words that they hear may not have any effect on their lives because the ears may be blocked spiritually. We learned not to harden our hearts whenever his word comes. We also learned not to be selective hearers, as many already are. They are always not comfortable with any word that contradicts whatever it is that they practice. We learned not to be so. We learned to make our hearts open and malleable to his word, always ready to be shaped by it whenever he corrects and instructs us. Hallelujah! Today our topic tells us to act on the word. Beyond paying a listening ear, we learn the importance of actually doing what we are instructed. We may be very good at hearing, but it is important also that our lives follow in obedience to the instructions that we receive. Our memory verse for today from the book of James chapter 1 verse 22 tells us, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. What it says next is quite eye-opening. It says deceiving your own selves. In other words, when you are only a hearer of the word and not a doer of the same, you would be engaging in one of the most terrible kinds of deception, and that is self-deception, where you would know the truth and you probably even proclaim the same to others, yet your life is bankrupt of obedience to the same instructions. Procrastination is also pointed out to us today as one of the greatest threats to practicing the word that we hear. So the next time you feel like postponing your obedience to an instruction till a later date, realize immediately that the enemy is at work. Procrastination is the thief of time. It is also the thief of purpose and destiny fulfillment. We learned from our study today that God is interested in prompt obedience. The moment his word like a mirror reveals to us an area of our lives that we should correct, we must get to work immediately. Because we learned from our study today that the moment we begin to procrastinate, we lose the zeal to do it. And that is exactly what the enemy is aiming at. When scripture tells us that the enemy has come to kill, to steal and to destroy, that ministry is also extended to the work of God's word in our lives. The enemy still seeks to kill, to steal and to destroy. He seeks to do all of this to every trace of God's word in our lives. We would be bowing our heads now and appreciating the Lord, thanking Him for the great exposition that He has given to us in this series. It is the children that the Lord loves that He corrects and instructs. Can we say, Father, we are grateful. Thank you for your word that has really blessed and enriched us. Receive our thanks and be glorified in the name of Jesus. Now ask the Lord, say, Father, we have heard your word. Now please grant us the grace to not be hearers only, but to be doers of the same in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the doing grace, the grace to actually act out on every instruction of his word that has come to us and that would be coming to us from this moment moving forward in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord that we would not be hearers only, deceiving our own selves. Ask the Lord that we would not be full of head knowledge and empty of practical obedience in the name of Jesus. I'd like us to be intentional today and pray would say, Father, Please destroy every root of procrastination in my life in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord to begin to destroy whatever strongholds of procrastination may still remain in our lives. The desire to do it later, the desire to do it tomorrow, the power at work that causes for spiritual laziness. Say, Father, let there be sent packing out of my life today in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for not only obedience but for prompt obedience the grace to be very prompt with every instruction that we receive in the name of Jesus. Also ask the Lord today, say, Father, as your word has entered into us, let it begin to reveal like a mirror the various aspects of our lives that should be corrected in the name of Jesus. We ask that your spirit would brood over your word that we have received. Let it lead, let it instruct. Let us be formed and fashioned into the perfect image that you have desired for us from the inception of time. 
and let our lives bear fruits and results of perfect and prompt obedience to you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we just want to thank you again. Thank you for the gift of your word. We are so blessed and favored to have you commune with us daily. We open up our hearts to you today. We ask that you would scan through us, carry out every spiritual surgery that is needed until our lives conform to your will. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that says, The blessing is in hearing the word of God and doing it. James chapter 1 verse 23 to 25. Hallelujah. We receive the grace today to be hearers and doers of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 8 down to chapter 12. Hallelujah. We are also thanking you and appreciating you today for joining us. We are glad and excited to have you. We know and we believe you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 23 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Take my life and let it be. Have a lovely day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you mightily. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.